$20 an hour. This has to be one of the most expensive chargers that I have ever seen. This is the Flow 50 kilowatt charger located somewhere in Vancouver. And we will find out if it's good enough to warrant such a huge price. All right, guys, here we are for another fast charger review. And today uh, we're looking at Flow chargers that are located in this underground uh, shopping center. We've got a Canadian tire here. We've got a supermarket there. Um, so it's a very convenient location. It's very close to the Burnaby and Vancouver border. Um, and that's in Canada, if you're wondering. And so it's a pretty good location. But I'm here because the price per hour is $20 to charge here, which is the highest I have ever seen in the city. And now I know how uh, Tesla owners feel after the price increases recently for their supercharging. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of the same thing, right? Like paying so much. And I don't understand why. Um, there's, there's no fee for parking that I can see. We will check it out just to make sure that this includes also parking, because it might, right? Um, and uh, see what's up. Like, I don't understand. It's a 50 kilowatt charger, that's it. That's all it is. And it's so expensive, which works out to 33 cents Canadian per minute, which for a 50 kilowatt, this is the most I have ever seen offered here in British Columbia in Canada. So anyway, let's have a look at it, see how good it is and see how much it will actually cost to get us charged up. So as you guys can hear the humming away, we've got a two chargers set up. Okay, so these are the two 50 kilowatt chargers. They're the same brand as uh, BC Hydro has. So in terms of re reliability, I would say that they're pretty good. Um, but uh, you know, this is the location. So you have those two chargers there. And you also have, you also have this one, a level two charger that costs $1.50 per hour. And these are pretty good. Flow makes very good level two chargers. So. Um, that's something that I would use if I come here for shopping and I just need to top up. So as you guys can see, that's a Canadian Tire logo. So I guess it's like co-branded together with Flow and that's how Flow got this location. My only gripe is I don't see any EV signs painted on the, on the parking stalls here, neither here nor there. So I'm wondering why that is. So someone driving a nice vehicle can just park here and um, and then not notice that these are chargers. And they're building something here. I wonder if it's gonna be another charger. Uh, I mean, $20 an hour, that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, uh, return on their investment. So if they, if they put in another charger here, which kind of the size itself kind of looks like it would be, and you've got like these pipes going in. So maybe that's the wiring because it's similar to these pipes here. Right, look at the pipe here, right? So yeah, that might be another charger going in. But yeah, at $20 per hour, this is getting expensive. So the placement is okay. Um, I had to finagle the little, the wire to go all the way under the car so it fits in here. But yeah, it's okay, it's long enough to do that. And as any of these other chargers, you've got Chatamo here and you got CSS on the other side. So there you go. All right, let's jump into the car and see what we're doing in terms of speed. All right, we're in the car now. So we're getting 45 kilowatts so far. Uh, we plugged in, what, uh, maybe three, four minutes ago. Right now, the battery is at about 16 degrees. So as you guys can see, the real charge is about 45.3.4. It fluctuates as it always does. So up to 80%, it will take us 47 minutes. So obviously at the end of this all, I'm gonna tell you guys how much it costs. But like I said, 20 bucks an hour, 33 cents per minute, which is pretty steep. I wonder if this can go up to or close to 50, just like the BC Hydro uh, chargers do. That would be pretty good. Like I said, it's a very good location. You have everything here. You have a Boston pizza if you're hungry. You have a Starbucks. Hey Austin, what are you drinking? Frappuccino. Frappuccino. I got Austin here with me today because it's a, uh, what is it? spring break yeah and you know he's stuck at home so we've got some cold drinks from starbucks if you want coffee you can get that and then there's canadian tire down there so if you have to do some shopping you can do so and there's plenty of parking here and too for yeah save one is downstairs okay let's go back to the car and see if we're getting any kind of better speed than when we were 
just plugging in. Okay, so after a few minutes, we went to get drinks. Um, we're doing 46 kilowatt. The battery is quite warm right now, 21 degrees. Actual uh, battery power is 46.4, so a little bit more than 46, but still not good enough. Um, with the same 50 kilowatt charger on BC Hydro, we're getting at this point easily 48, 49. So let's see if we ever make it to 48, 49 um, kilowatt. Uh, I, I, at this point, I'm not sure we will, or maybe just for a very, very short period of time. It keeps fluctuating, but it's not, you know, able to push through that. 46 ceiling right now. Okay, so we just passed 60%. The car says 48. And here we say... Oh, it's now going down a lot though. Oh, now we just, just, just dropped down to 41.1. Wow. It was 47 for a good like 10 minutes before. Yeah, just dropped down. And if you guys are wondering, HVAC is off as always. So we're not taking any more power. So I guess if it drops down like this at 60% to 41, that just, you know, extends the charging time and they make more money, obviously. So, not a good look. And we're still at 41.2 so far. So, let's see if this goes up when we go to like 65, maybe 70. We crossed the 70% barrier and we're at 49 now. And um, the actual speed is very close to 49. So, I would say that I'm quite happy with this. Um, but again, you know, the price itself is always something that I have in the back of my mind. And now the big question is, when will it dip to around 20 or 30? Um, usually with BC Hydro chargers, these ones in particular, it happens around 75, 76. So let's see when when that happens um, with the flow chargers. And it happened at 74%, we dipped down to 35%. So we have 6% left to 80, seven minutes left. That's what the car is telling us. Actual speed is, like we said, 35, a little bit over 35. Um, so that's a little bit early. Um, BC Hydro can sustain that to 76 um, with the same charger. So I guess maybe software here is different. Not sure. A Kona EV just uh, pulled up and is using this level two charger. So this one's at $1.50 an hour, which might be a better deal than this fast charger we got right here. Anyway, let's see what we're getting so far. So 77% and 23 kilowatts. So now we have dipped to 23 at 77. So we got four minutes left um, to get to 80. So this is pretty standard, but I wish it would keep that going up until 76, 77 and then dip into the 20s, just like the BC Hydro ones do. Um, and yeah, and the fluctuation, that's something that shouldn't be happening. All right, charging has been completed. We have 80% on the car, but actual charge that the battery received is 77.5. So we have a 2.5 percentage loss, which is pretty standard. I'm not too bothered by that. If it was more than this, then I would be worried. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, stay tuned for my conclusion and I'll give you my thoughts if this thing is recommended or not. You're probably wondering how much this whole charging session cost me. So it took 51 minutes and the cost was uh, over $17. So that's quite a lot of money. And when you come to think about what the competition offers for the same product, a 50 kilowatt charger, um, you quickly start thinking that it's super expensive. <laughs> so for example, BC Hydro and ChargePoint, they're around the $12 mark um, for an hour charge. So that's $8 less than Flow is trying to charge for the same product basically, right? So I would have to say that, you know, Flow has to really rethink the way that they are doing things, especially when it comes to DC fast charging. I have no problem with their level two product. I think that's perfectly fine for what it is, but with, you know, DC fast charging, $20 is too much, especially because Flow has many different chargers around the city and all priced differently from $12 to $20. Why not just standardize it and make it the same across the board? That's another thing that I don't really understand. Anyway, if anybody from Flow is watching, I hope you guys change things around because I'm a huge fan of your level two charging and level three DC fast charging could be very, very good, but not in the same way that it is right now. So 
Would I recommend it? Definitely not. Yeah, BC Hydro, Chargepoint, they're way better options. They're cheaper, just as fast, um, and more stable, I would say, too. The charge itself, you know, with flow was kind of up and down, up and down, up and down, as you guys saw in the video. So definitely, I would say that the competition is doing a much better job in the 50 kilowatt uh, fast charger space. Yeah, so until they th figure things out, lower the pricing and everything else, I wouldn't recommend it. And just to, just to give you a little quick, you know, uh, round up here, I thought that the $20 included parking fees or whatever, but I couldn't find any parking meters there. So that $20 today was simply for charging. So yeah, I think that's unacceptable. So I'm hoping that um, they will see what they're doing, correct it, and then offer something better and more competitive in the future. All right, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and goodbye.